Yo, what up, guys? Welcome back to our channel. I'm Nick. And I'm Jacob. And together we are the Shonen Bros. And today we're going to be reacting to JoJo's Bizarre Adventure Part 3, Episode 9. That's right. And the last one was, I'll admit, it was very... <laughs> it was kind of yeah. weird. I, I will say that. It was a lot weirder than some of the other episodes. Uh, it was kind of like very chucky ish i guess you could say yeah cause... that doll was definitely chucky-esque yeah. bro yeah. i'm like what the heck is that bro mm -hmm. yes this stand was uh very very weird so it was basically like um well we know his his stand was called the devil and it was basically chucky so i guess that makes sense but <laughs> uh so his uh you know his stand attacked paul naref because he was alone in a room and uh you know for a second, he was actually getting the best of Paul Noref, and it looked like he was going to win. But at the very last second, he was able to smash a mirror, see where he was, and stab him. And, uh, you know, he was able to get the W, and he was able to hobble his way back to Jojo and Jotaro and the whole gang. And then they were all just like, yo, dude, what happened? We're waiting for you, my guy. Let's go. <laughs> yeah, that's what I was just about to say that. I'm like, they were just like, bro, like you're late <laughs> yeah it's like do you not see all the blood my guy <laughs> <laughs> do you know this man almost died to a doll imagine you're like you're about to die or you're like you're literally like injured what happened i got attacked by a doll yeah <laughs> dude um, bro that was so i was like dude i was like all right but they were hinting there um a little bit you know with the guy with the two arms mm. so i'm curious when we we're gonna meet him yeah you know, because I know they're eventually going to go against him. You know, and I know Paul, Paul uh, or Jean, I like to call him, uh, is going to be on that train uh, very quickly to kill that guy. Oh, for sure. Yeah, so I really want to see that fight because I feel like it's going to get the best out of Jean. And he's going to want to decimate that guy. And I want to see that fight. Mm -hmm. I mm -hmm. want to see it. So it's, it's going to be kind of cool. And, um, yeah, so now they're kind of in a hotel in, uh, Singapore. And, yeah, it's, it's, it's like they're going into this blindly. They're, like, step by step, man. So now they now they got to figure out where they need where they uh, have to go next. Mm-hmm. But, I mean, there is something that might get in their way. Because at the very end, we saw that Jojo was using his stand, not on a camera, which he usually does, but instead he was using it on a television. And out came the words that Kikyoin is a traitor. So, again, I don't know if that's real, dude. It might be Dio just putting things in his head just to mess with him. It might be gaslighting. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Dio, I mean, Dio's a master at that. That, true, true. So, you know, no, I'm not even being funny. Like, here, like, he's generally good at gaslighting. Yeah. Like, he just knows how to manipulate people. Mm -hmm. And just make him think what he's saying is true. So, unfortunately, like, actually, fortunately enough, I'm not believing him until we see Kikyo and Petray. You know, I, I just don't see it happening. And even if he tried, Jotaro whooped his butt last time. Yeah. So, do you think, it, do you think that's going to happen? Yeah. I really? Don't, I don't think that he could beat uh, Jotaro. No shot. No shot. I'm saying that right now. He would get clapped again like he did the first time. Mm -hmm. But, you know, we're just going to have to see what happens for sure with Kikyoin to see if he betrays or not and see if... Let's... let's 10%... Uh, I would say 90, 90 to 10% for me for uh, Dio telling the truth. Yeah. That's where I'm at. So I'm like, 90%, I don't think he's telling the truth. There's a 10% though that he could be. So we're just going to have to see and find out and see if Kikyoin is the traitor. Oh yeah, I hope we get the answer soon because I'm really excited to see what's going to happen in this episode. If you guys want to see our future reactions to JoJo's Bizarre Adventure Part 3, then make sure you guys like and subscribe. Click on the notification bell to be notified when we release new content. Also make sure you guys click the link down in the description down below of all of our social media links to give them a follow. And as well as comment down below what are the animes, openings, or endings you guys would like us to react to next. Thanks for all the support, really do appreciate every single one of you guys. And now, let's get into JoJo's Bizarre Adventure, Part 3, Episode 9. Yeah, Kikyoin. 
He's a traitor, apparently. No. Yeah, he's alone with Jotaro and the, the girl, so... Maybe he tries to kidnap her, if he really is the traitor. And use that as, like, leverage. Again, that's all assuming that he really is the traitor. I don't know, I'm not convinced. Dude, like dad's gonna do picked, anything, bro. Yeah, you picked the wrong people to steal from. Yeah, we'll see you later, bro. Oh my gosh, bro. Dude, yeah. He is not playing around. Yeah, you literally picked the wrong guy to steal it from. Dang, Kikyoin. Come on, bro. This ain't you. Yeah, oh. he's, he's acting different. Spine Buster, what the heck? Okay, bro, you gotta, like, chill out, bro. Dude, he's gonna kill him. <laughs> what the heck? Dude, he's literally killing him. Dude, Wait. stop. Is he under mind control again? I like how she... Wow, she's just in awe, I guess. Dude, he's literally gonna kill him. Something is wrong with him. He's different. Yeah, that's not sus at all. Yeah, no. Nah. I mean, yeah, but he, he doesn't deserve to die. <laughs> yeah, this man's face, bro. Yeah, Jotaro's like, yeah, he's not the same guy. What if he's under my control again? It's definitely a possibility. Or maybe it's somebody else's stand, like, pretending to be him? Maybe. Alright, episode 9. Yellow Temperance. Is that maybe the, the name of the next stand that they're going to go up against? Maybe. It's got to be somebody taking control of Kikyoin. He's not the yeah. same guy. Yeah, definitely not the same guy. He's oh, I know exactly what he's doing. He's big brain and Kikyoin. Yeah. He's n but what's his plan? They're not. He's not actually going on the train. Oh, you know, you might be right about that. The the Jojo's big brain. He's not. He's not gonna fall for what? Oh, wait, wait, whoa, what? Is he eating the tree? No, he's eating the beetles. I, yeah, he's eating the beetles. Oh, yeah. Something is definitely wrong with him. Um, yeah, this is sus, bro. Yeah, I'm thinking, like, a Stan must have taken control of his mind or something. Bro, what is going on? <laughs> Dude, just the thought of Kikyoin going, leaning close to the camera and going, Hmm, coconut. <laughs> Yeah, he's like, yeah, something's wrong with that guy. Bro, what? Whoa. Yeah, what the heck? Yeah, th this is like, it's like if Dio is controlling him, bro. This yeah. is exactly what Dio would do. Like, wh Dude, what the? <laughs> what am I watching, bro? That's what I'm saying! <laughs> That's what I'm saying, bro. No, don't. That is disgusting, bro. Wait, what? Possessed. Ooh. Oh. What was that? I really do not like this right now. Nah, me neither. What is going on, bro? I mean, is the stand inside of him? Okay, yeah. yeah. Yellow temperance. Yeah. yeah. Oh.
So how does he get it off? He's got to he's got to kill him, I would assume. Ooh. What the heck? He can't he can't touch him. How is he going to defeat him? What the heck? How do you defeat something you can't even touch? No, he's possessed. Uh, that's the real Kion? Yeah. Yep. <laughs> Dude, they knew it they knew he was the real one because he kept his school uniform on. He never takes it off. Wait, what is he doing? I mean, he has to get away from him. He can't touch him. True. So like Oh, that's actually, that's actually so useful. What the heck? Interesting. He said it! It's j <laughs> sorry, yeah. sorry, sorry. I wonder if he's gonna, like, develop a long-range attack because of this. Everybody has a weakness. Ooh. Oh, what the heck? Oh, it made it worse. What if doing the opposite? Like cooling, cooling it. it yeah. Down. Cooling it. Oh, he's about to go back to the ice. He's room. about to ninja that. Oh. That's kind of sick. Yo, I like the not even phase that a man just broke into their freaking Yeah. Like, bro, they're chilling. This man just jumped out of the sky, broke into their car in the sky and just this lady was just like, "Yo, what's up?" <laughs> <laughs> oh. Okay, that doesn't work either. Oh, she's the stand user? What? Okay. Okay. It's. Dude, anime be weird sometimes, dude. <laughs> that explains a lot of why she wasn't phased. Oh, no, not the, not the dog, bro. Oh. Oh my gosh. What the heck am I... Well, uh... That kid is scarred for life. <laughs> He's in the cable <laughs> car. I saw his dog's head get ripped off. What am I watching? D dude. It's gotta be a weakness. <laughs> oh no. Now it's touching like all over his body. How does he get rid of it? Yo, for some reason right there, he really looks like the um original JoJo. Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> yep. Exactly. So he's trying to kill him. Uh, I get it. Yeah. Or force him to let go of yeah. him. Mm, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you're gonna get you collapsed, bro. Oh. Oh my gosh, dude. Okay. That's smart. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. You're, you're gonna kill me? Oh, wait, I know now. <laughs> oh, 
Yeah, the guy with two right hands. Or two right... Center yeah, two fold. right hands. The hanged man? Okay. What about them? In? Oh, he's got surrounded. Uh But it's you guys are still connected though. I mean it's kind of a smart idea. I feel like he's about to get Uno reverse card very hard here. Ah, so that's the incentive for killing him. <laughs> Ooh. Nice. Ooh, the music, bro. Okay. Yeah, you done goofed, bro. Yeah, he's done. No, you, no, you weren't. <laughs> yeah, sure, sure. Yes, he is. You already used that line, yep. dude. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Yeah, he's getting thrashed. Dang. Dude, he's getting decked. Dude, dude, he got bodied. Like, what the heck? <laughs> All right, India. Ah, uh, so is this where we see say goodbye? Dang. Yeah. Oh, Lamo. No. No. Don't, don't do it, don't do it, don't do it, don't oh, do it, don't Oh my gosh. Man, you should punch him in the face just for that. <laughs> yeah, for real. That is some sus activity. Oh, there she is. Oh, she's on the train. Cool. Wait, what about her dad then? Alright, that was a pretty interesting episode. So, we got another stand user introduced, and then... Another one that was kind of killed off, too, in one episode. A yellow Temperance was a stand, and uh, he was able to kind of just, like, eat away at any flesh he touches. I feel like that's kind of OP, because, like, he really didn't have any weakness. The only, the only reason he was able to be defeated was because Jojo was like, yo, if I'm dying, I'm going to drag you down with me. <laughs> yeah. And that kind of scared him. <laughs> no, so... Yeah, jo Jojo is just a savage, bro. This man was like, yeah. dude, you lost as soon as you said what you were going to do. <laughs> He's like, you lost like until this point. Like you, you thought you won, but right now you lost. And then he just yeets him in the air. And he's like, bro, I have nothing else to say to you, bro. He just starts ooting him and just start like yeah. decimating him. I'm like, bro, he's going to do more to you than a broken nose and a broken jaw, bro. Yeah, it was a pretty good episode. I mean, you know, Anne was, uh, well, no, because she was supposed to go meet up with her father, and I assume that I assume that was just like where we were gonna say goodbye to her. But she's on the train now, which I'm kind of confused by. Was she lying the whole time about that? She could have been, honestly. She's a little kid. Yeah, yeah. You know, I That's um fair. also I feel like she's also taken a really big liking to Jotaro, so I feel like. She's gonna want to stay by his side. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So, I don't know. I feel like she's gonna be with us for a while. Um, maybe to like maybe later part of part three. But I feel like for now she's gonna be with the squad. You know. Yeah. So, yeah, that dude. That scene was really interesting because I'm like, Kikyoin was just acting majorly sus. This the beginning of the, the beginning. It was like, freaking like. I know at the end there he was doing it too, but like sucking on the freaking cherry, like it was so weird. And then uh, he ate the beetle, and I'm like, what the heck? Yeah, we definitely knew something was up with him. Yeah, there's no way, like possessed or something. Uh, we were kind of close, but he brought him in the water mm -hmm. to try to like drown him and like 
make him exhausted. And then from there, he was like, oh yeah, I got above water and noticed a drain bubble. And then he legit like just created like a like a uh, like a geyser. Yeah. And he yeeted him. And then he was like, yeah, bro, you, you you done goofed. And now I'm about to body you because you were talking all that smoke. And now you are going to feel the wrath of Star Platinum. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. So I thought it was really funny. He's like, yeah, we're cool, right? I didn't mean it. Dude, you already tried that line <laughs> dude, with the broken nose and the, the, the wired jaw. Like, that it, that worked the first time. Okay, second time. No. Nah. Really, dude? No. Nope. Really? <laughs> He's like, no, nah, man. I no. am tired of your crap. I'm going to just beat the crap out of you. And then, I, cause it, 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 after he got beat up like senselessly, he we, like it just cuts back on the train again. So yeah. it's like we didn't even see him after. We don't even know where he is. I think he's. I think he's. Dead. He, he. I think that's pretty safe. To he, he might just be dead. But yeah. So mm-hmm. now they're going to India, which is actually you were correct on that, by the way. Um, yeah. Yeah. So now they're on their way to India, and with the whole crew, including Anne. And yeah, now I'm assuming there's gonna be a a stand on the train. Uh, probably. I would imagine that. They're too. just everywhere, bro. They're just everywhere. And they based are, on the build yeah. up, I'm guessing it's the, the guy with two right hands. Maybe, or they'll save him for last, kind of like maybe. Yeah, the one right before DL. Yeah, 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 yeah. Maybe, maybe, maybe. But he, he, I mean, he's one of the only ones we know. The other ones are unknown. You know what I'm saying? We know their names. We don't know their stands. They said their names uh, a little bit into the episode. The, the guy was revealing their names. But, I mean, he's the only one we kind of, like, learned his uh, stand power. We really... The only one we really know anything about, really. Yeah, so that's why I'm, that's why I'm thinking it's him. That's going to mm-hmm. be the next stand that they're going to go against in India because we know information about him. The other people are unknown. You know what I'm saying? But it could be the total opposite. Like, you know him, but we're not going to see him until the final battle before Dio. Who knows? Right? Um, but yeah. yeah, I can't wait to see. Also, kind of like the culture and also the music choices that they use for each country that they're going into. I really like that. Add a touch mm-hmm. of detail. Like, but like it's it's but it's but JoJo's music. But like, you get what I'm saying. Yeah, it's just stylized under a certain... Uh under like a certain culture you know what I mean? yeah yeah I, I like that um but yeah guys uh it's getting pretty good right now with uh, all these stands coming in randomly all these new powers and all these unique stands that are really coming out and there, a lot of them are weird but they seem oh, yeah. to be big problems so i can't wait to see the, some of the more powerful stands and just to see the jotaro and the squad go against the more powerful ones that dio has sent and see the, how they kind of square up against them Oh yeah, I think it's going to be a pretty interesting rest of the season. And uh, yeah, guys, if you guys want to see our future reactions to part three, the rest of part three, then make sure you like and subscribe. Click on the notification bell to be notified when we release new content. And as always, guys, thanks for all the support. Really do appreciate every single one of you guys. We will see you guys in the next video. Peace.